You're so cool, boy. How are you? If we find Mama, how about you? Uh, other than hunger, I'm fine. I beg your pardon? You know, the thing is, I'm too hungry to queue and vote. But if you can give me some money to buy food for myself and my children, I can vote for both of you. Mama, that's not the kind of Kenya we're trying to build. Who cares about the country? I am an individual, and all I need is money. That's where you go wrong. If you keep insisting on voting for leaders for what they give you, then this country will never grow. Exactly. You need to vote wisely. Vote for the future. What a waste of my time. You think I'll leave that future? How oh, sad. Sure. I have the best deal of the year for you. Faster than I thought. Well, even if it took hours, I still need to exercise my democratic rights. Well, I hope you voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hmm? So you thought you're the only ones who could bring development in my life? I've found another politician. One who cares, one I'll vote for. If I didn't know better, I would say there's a place where people are being given free food. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the same, but hey, who would give out free food stuff? Are you nervous? Well, I'm not sure exactly what I'm feeling this time. You know, we're standing here and we're seeing people leaving empty-handed and coming back with their hands full. Interesting. Do you think somebody is buying them food? No. <laughs> I think the election fever is playing mind games with us. <laughs> Santi Sana, you will definitely have my vote. It's actually a crime to solicit for votes by buying voters' food stuff. I know all that. And then? I think somebody's trying to frame me. I didn't buy anyone anything. Kubo, oh, thank you so very much. My vote and all my families are yours. <laughs> so that's how you play it, huh? Emma. I am very uncomfortable with this. Please stop it. Or I'll have to report you to the, to the chief. Make sure you vote for the blue one. Make sure you vote for the blue one. Make sure you vote for the blue one. That lane was very long. Imagine I've just Exactly, are you doing? Uh, it's so good to see that everything is moving smoothly, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, this time people have been much wiser. They're not being tricked by the politicians. And I, I must say, I am very, very impressed by most, if not all, the politicians. None has tried to bribe the voters or play any dirty tricks. That's very impressive, don't you think? Am I missing something? No, no, no. Everything is quite fine. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, nothing has gone wrong. You said so yourself. <laughs> of course. I, I wish you all the very best. <laughs> uh, Chief, wait. Uh, look, we, we have to tell you something. What you're doing is a crime, which could land you in the cell. But I'm not doing anything illegal. Okay, let us greet each other quickly before things get worse. Chief, I was just coming to find you. Oh, that's a coincidence. Because I'm also looking for you. Me? What for? We shall talk about that in my office. You, 
Also, close up your shop and come with me. But Chief, I've, done, I've not done anything wrong. I also don't understand why I have to come to the Chief's camp. Honorable, please don't make me make things worse than they already are. Wait. Are you also accusing me of being behind this? Wait, let's not get violent. Let's go.